I was just going to ask what the this experience's impact um, had on your faith, the impact of this experience on your faith. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, one aspect of it was um, it kind of upset my understanding of uh, you know what a good person is and what a good person ought to get. Um, you know, to, to say, um, well, it's like, you know, I'm like, well, God, I know I've been against abortion for years, so why are we having this thing happen to us that we're being asked to do that's so similar to an abortion? And I was really angry about that for a while. And, you know, it's this understanding that I've come to you know, came to realize as, as time went on that, you know, nobody, sh nobody has a get out of temptation free card in this life. And um, that you might be pushed and tested in a way that you really don't think you should be tested. And that that is just part of the Christian life. And you, you can't get out of it. You can cry all you like about it. Um, and then it's the other thing uh, that it has... Um, taught me, I guess, is the, about the, um, the importance of intercession and uh, intercessory prayer, um, asking people to pray for you. Um, I, for one, am actually pretty bad at that. When somebody says, oh, pray for me, my mother's sick, blah, 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 blah. And then by the, you know, the, the nighttime when it's actually time to say the evening prayer, I, I don't do that. I, I forget. And so um, you get a sense of the the thousands of people who are praying for your child as the word goes around the, the, the church um, network that you have in, the, in our case the, the Diocese of the West you know it, it's this humbling humbling experience mm 